I hear this all the time. This fucking drives me crazy. <sighs> Gotta hydrate. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta hydrate. <laughs> I hear this all the time. Drives me crazy. Where okay. some some clients will come in, and they'll be like, "Oh, well, my neighbor's dog is 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 off leash trained, and you know, like I just why why can't my dog be like that?" And I was like, "Well, define off leash training." And they're like, "Well, he's just off leash all the time." I was like, "Have you ever seen the dog like listen to the person, or is the dog just off leash all the time?" <laughs> because there's a big difference. I know for a fucking fact mm-hmm. that. Every dog that I see that is off leash all the time, typically the owner has zero fucking control over that dog, oh, right? Yeah, sure. So it's like, and even if even if the dog does come for a cookie sometimes or something like that, off leash training to me is like people look at it as staple. Like, well, if you didn't have the e collar on, is it really? Or if you have the e collar on, is it really off leash training? This and that. Off leash training isn't about fucking showing off, right? Off leash no. training is about giving the dog freedom to run and play and be a dog mm-hmm. while having the safety of being able to 100% guarantee that your dog is not going to take off after something. Yeah. Which is sure. why I I would never I could never imagine just going somewhere and letting my dogs off leash without their e-collars on and like feeling comfortable or confident in doing that because i know how easy it is for a squirrel to come out of nowhere or a deer to come out of nowhere and Mm -hmm. them see that thing and just get fucking you know razzled up in that moment and want to go after it yeah you know and it's like like i know that i could stop that if that were to happen because they have their e-collars on Mm -hmm. right 